Hey guys, it's Agung Agi and welcome to my video. Now, in this video, I want to show you how I dye my hair. I want to dye my hair blue, but first I have to bleach it because it's been three, actually four weeks that I have dyed my hair blue and then I, no, I'm not dyeing it again. It's going to be a little green and light blue on this side. Now, I want to dye it again because this is a holiday season and uh, why not? Let's begin. Oh yeah, by the way, for the record, I'm sorry if I look at the viewfinder a lot because I need to see how it goes, okay? So, for the bleaching process, I use a bleaching from Deco Vitalities. I hope you can see it. Yes. Okay. And uh, for the developer cream, I use this Vitality Art. Yes, as you can see, I only use half of it, and I mix both. And this is the bleaching cream. This colored blue, and I. Oh, yeah, by the way, for the developer cream, I only use a part of it because this is only for like two pack of this. Back of this. For the mixing, both of these, I usually use my toothpaste. My old toothpaste, not have to be old or new, but at least it's clean. Or maybe you can use this this kind of comb because this is usually used only for dyeing your hair or some kind of thing. But some people don't have it, and this is a dirt, I guess. I have to peel it first. I will use it for my blue coloring then. I usually dye my hair when my hair is dry and I'm not showering it like a bath yet so this is perfect so I can bleach my hair and then uh, rinse it while I'm taking a bath. I guess I will start from this one because I want to be like a whole hair. So, yes, put that one way for it. <laughs> it's kind of nervous actually. Okay. I actually don't use the toothpaste because the toothpaste is only for like the, the starter and the s then I use this plastic glow and I usually do like this. I honestly do this, like, like this. I know this process is not really like professional or kind of thing because, uh, like, normally people uh, use like the comb and make everything goes well. But I'm not why because it's too long and I'm doing it on my own, so I don't have anyone to help me. And this is what I do. And I guess it's going great. I just don't have to like pull my hair too hard because <clears throat> it will ruin the structure of my hair. Because I already like making it drop down so. You know what? I will skip until my bleaching process is done, okay? Guys, this is the process, not but not done yet because I decided to use a whole package and uh, I mix it again now and it's not, it's still a little bit dry. I thought that I only use a half of it because my hair is short, but no, because it's not enough for my whole hair. So I guess uh, from this, uh, I learned that for you have who have a very long hair you need two or three pack of this and uh, for the for you who have a short who has a short hair maybe just one but if you want to do like some kind of like ombre or some kind of thing you only have to use a half of it or if you only want to like a deep style kind of thing maybe a quarter yeah it depends on how much you want to dye your hair. But for me, I want to dye a hole because 
I wanna try it because I only like the it for the front or the side or the top. Not on the top. Top and front. Everyone said, why don't you dye? <laughs> why, why don't you dye? Why don't you color your hair full hair? It's gonna be great. I guess it's going to be great. I hope. Yeah. I also have seen people on the internet having a fully blue hair like um I remember some paper but I don't really like him so like oh yeah Markiplier because Markiplier recently they his hair blue and uh, oh yeah like I had cut quick she also have a blue hair and it is gorgeous and Tyler Oakley had a blue hair but now he is blonde and I don't really like blonde to be honest for me because I'm not really look good on with blonde hair and oh yeah Jenna Marbus who also have a half blue hair and half purple hair this is also very very great and I don't know oh yeah if you know boy in the band who is who is a rocker a musician who has like a red hair on this side and his hair is very very long and very good it's amazing to have a red hair like that but I I have tried to have a red hair but it's not going great because I use like a product which is not really expensive I have to say and it turns pink not the color that I want even like no so let's do it again Maybe I will use. Maybe I will use. Maybe I will use. I will use my mirror because my iPhone is too far. Oh yeah. Uh, for the record, the bleaching is not really stinky because usually it's it smells very bad and very chemically, and this smells kind of minty actually and it's very very good because I feel like not really bad to dye my hair still comfortable yeah let's keep it so this is the progress of my bleaching hair I want to like smooth the bleaching with the comb and I want to make like hopefully all white not really all white maybe like some kind of like light blonde also just not going to be like too brown because uh, if later on this hair going to be brown and I dyed it with blue it would be turned green in some couple of days fast and it's not going good and it's not what I want to get so well dyeing hair is kind of hard but if you want to do it properly you will be like happy with it and this is a still some part that has to be bleached and hopefully I still have some bleach I don't know how to I how I see it because I don't wear my glasses and the iPhone is actually kind of too far let's see the process again anyway, so guys yes this has been the bleaching process now I have to wait for some kind of like 30 or 25 minutes and to be honest with you, I don't really like bleaching process because why it kind of hurts. But well, I well it's hurt, but I still kind of uh, manage this and I still kind of hold it. But if you cannot hold the pain from the bleaching process, I suggest you to uh, bleach it in the salon or like in a barber shop. Who, uh, if you some kind of like bleaching surface just see how it goes and I will show you how the blue process so guys this is the halfway through the blue hair and yes this it turns orange and white in this side because it was blue and yes what did I say I'm not good with blonde hair and actually I want to keep this white but actually out of camera it's not white it's kind of light blonde not white and 
I don't know. It's I think it's going to be great if I it's this is I I keep it still white, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to keep because see it's blend and actually it's goes away. Goodbye. Yeah. And yes, I don't really know can I keep it or not or I will just blow it up like the other and the back. I hope you can see the back but it's kind of like this because I am not doing it properly. And yes, now let's blow it up. So guys, now it's time for the blue hair and for the blue hair I use this Felice hair color which is actually the color is blue but the, red, the box is red I already mixed the, the, the colorant cream and the developer cream it turns like this, it's blue, dark blue and I use both of this and actually this was a mess actually <laughs> because there was some kind of like accident with the, the developer cream because it was exploded I think it's because of, air, of the air pressure and yes Let's begin! First take it off. Yep, put it in the right place and let's begin. Oh yeah, I forgot about something. Wait a minute. The mirror. Another thing that I forgot. Plastic gloves. Goodbye brown hair. They're not good. Okay, it turns fast. <laughs> Obviously, and I decided to let the white be in blue because the white is hard to maintain, to harden as it looks. It looks. See, I don't understand how to use it. I will just use it with my hand again like this. Oh yeah, by the way, my brother and my sister already seen my hair and they feel like hmm. <laughs> Because their brother is... I mean, it's usual for them to see their brother dyeing his hair, so... I think they just don't give anything, okay? <laughs> don't give any comments, even. I think my side of my head, the side of my head is kind of sensitive with the head color, and so it's kind of a little bit hurt. Oh yeah, just skip it again. So guys, yes, this is the midpoint of dyeing the blue hair, and yes, it always happened that when I go to the bleaching head, I do it kind of a little bit tidy and when it comes to blue it turns everywhere I think I just don't want to like uh, left the brown hair so this is what I do <laughs> and I hope now I don't miss any blue hair uh, any brown hair so everything is blue not getting to be brown or even yellowish because that's the terrible things happen when you dye it blue and uh, Yes. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, while I'm dyeing my hair, i thinking about my life. <laughs> I feel like I rethink my life, I just do, just thinking about what I have done in my life, like I had some deep thoughts, and uh, yeah, and the sky is going to be blue again, which is actually really great. Well, I'm not dyeing a whole blue hair because some people say for me too but it's because I want it's actually more fun to have a whole blue hair because it's not hard to change the hairstyle because everything is already blue I don't know I feel something's missing from my heart I don't know why it's going to be a bit sad but I don't know why I feel like I did some disappointed at some point but I don't know which point that I disappointed for I hope I'm doing everything well like I don't know because I 
cannot check the back of my head. Nobody is home. And uh, I guess my brother and my sister are going somewhere. And yeah. <laughs> I look like an emo or something. <laughs> no, emo doesn't have to like that face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you're not offended. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm from Indonesia. Don't forget about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, have you seen the YouTube Rewind from the US and from Indonesia? It's all great. And, well, I've seen a lot of the YouTube Rewind from US and I kind of like it because it's global. Not just US, but also in Paris, British, I mean London, or like Japan, India, or something. But why not Indonesia? Indonesia is just like one other one single video that's separated from the YouTube space. I don't know why. They should like into one whole video because. Indonesian YouTubers are very great, although actually I don't really know what are the YouTube Indonesian YouTubers <laughs> because I'm not following them at all. <laughs> so well, this, here's the thing: when I see the YouTube rewind from Indonesia, from my country, I feel like it's very great. I I know some of them like because they are on TV or something sometimes, but the rest of it like, who are they? But I don't know, I feel like YouTuber in Indonesia is still like doing some kind of like funny videos and a comedy sketch kind of thing which actually I cannot do because I'm not kind of I'm not that kind of person. So I will just do like vlog about my life and then uh, favorite things. By the way I'm not doing the favorite things because, because I don't have any favorite things because yes. It's all just going to happen, and then the dying hair video like this. <laughs> yeah, that and pretty much that, and the cooking video. Actually, I have some videos that I'm not edited yet, and I guess I will be uploaded later because it was recorded at 9th January, which is already like almost a year ago, or like 11 months ago. And on this video, I get I make a cooking video about fried broccoli, which is really delicious. I have to edit that and upload it so you can watch it. And yes, I guess the the coloring process is pretty much done. I'm gonna wait for 30 minutes. Oh, who's coming? Bye. So guys, yes, it's the final product and I'm quite happy with it. Well, I have to say that I miss this part because it's still kind of green and yes, what I have to say, I'm not perfect and yes, thank you for watching my tutorial and listening about my thoughts and yes, I will see you again in the next video. I hope you can learn something from this video, although maybe not a lot. <laughs> that it's fun to do this again i will do this again again like sometimes i guess yeah okay see you again have a nice day